Is the Backbone 1 PlayStation Edition worth buying? With the Backbone 1 currently retailing for roughly $99 US, that's $179 Australian, there are a few things to consider before parting with your hard-earned cash. Shut up and take my money! The Backbone 1 has a very sleek design. It is comfortable to hold and fits into your hand nicely. This is vital for those long commutes because the last thing you need is your hands cramping up after just a couple hours of play. I'm looking at you, Nintendo Switch. Not only does the Backbone 1 feel natural to hold, but it is also super lightweight so you won't feel like you're holding bricks whilst trying to play your favorite titles. Even the edging around the analog sticks have been beveled so that you don't awkwardly scrape the sticks on a sharp edge. The Backbone one is also super easy to mount your phone into so you won't be messing around for ages trying to fit it in. The Android version comes with two sets of brackets to fit different phone brands so you won't have to worry about not getting your phone to fit in. The Backbone can expand a decent length so you can fit a phone of almost any size. Ooh. That's kind of small. However, whilst your phone is secured in the backbone, it still has a bit of movement. This won't be too much of a problem, but it would be ideal if the phone would sit in a bit more snug. Also, in order to use the backbone one, you will have to remove your phone's case. This isn't a problem for me, as my case is easy to snap on and off. But if you have a case that is difficult to take off, you may want to reconsider this purchase. If you like to switch in and out of playing games and using your phone for social media, YouTube, or pretty much anything else, the backbone doesn't really get in the way either, so you won't have to constantly dismount it for other use. The Backbone One is especially ideal if you stream your games. Whether you use Xbox Game Pass, PS Remote Play, or Steam Link, the Backbone is compatible with them all. I find myself using Boosteroid for a lot of my game streaming, especially for games that my PC can't handle. Not only do I get access to a high-end PC to stream my games from, but the seamless transition from selection menu to in-game is great. And it's not just limited to streaming on mobile. Just know that Boosteroid service is for streaming your own Steam, Epic Games, or other platform titles. If you want to play new games but have a low spec gaming rig, then check out below for more. Now yes, I have the PlayStation Edition, mainly because I'm a massive PlayStation fan. Comment PlayStation and a fire emoji in the comments if you are too. But this design here is purely aesthetic. You can still use your PlayStation Edition backbone to play Game Pass or Steam Link, and the regular backbone can play PS Remote Play. So choosing the ideal backbone for you just comes down to color preferences. Just be aware, if you are wanting to use the backbone for PS Remote Play, you do actually need to own a PS5. PlayStation doesn't currently offer an independent streaming service. For this reason, if you don't have a PS5 or don't plan on using remote play, might I suggest just getting the regular backbone instead because most games use the Xbox button configuration. So seeing the PlayStation face buttons may be a little annoying. But if that doesn't bother you, the PlayStation Edition does look really nice. iPhone users, this is a tip for you. If you have the iPhone 15, make sure you buy the Android and iPhone 15 version because it's got the USB-C connection. Now this next backbone feature is easily my favorite. If you flip the controller up, you can see that there are two ports. One in the bottom of each grip. These ports allow you to charge your phone and play with headphones on simultaneously. So now the whole world won't have to hear your game whilst you charge. I absolutely love this about the backbone because I'm often out and about, so being able to charge while using my non-Bluetooth headphones is a massive bonus for me. Now let's move on to the backbone app. Its free features include controller firmware updates and joystick calibration, as well as button remapping. If you want to use the app's other features, you'll need to purchase yet another subscription service. The membership includes the ability to manage all your games in one place, exclusive perks, personalized game recommendations, streaming directly to Twitch, and more. The Backbone One also has a capture button, which helps you easily snap screenshots straight into your gallery to share with your friends and family. It's nice and easy and works a treat. However, recording gameplay, that's a whole other story. You can't record gameplay unless you have a Backbone Plus membership. This in itself is a little frustrating. But honestly, the recording itself can be a bit iffy depending on your device. Each time I tried to record footage, it would go to the Backbone app menu because I would have to allow it to start recording each time. Recording footage in this fashion is a lot more inconvenient, but it is there if you want it. Now, whilst I do love my Backbone... <laughs> Now, whilst I do love my Backbone 1 PlayStation Edition, it's not perfect. For one, the right-hand side face buttons are quite clicky, which can be slightly annoying if you don't like noisy buttons. Also, unless you want to play mobile-specific games, the Backbone 1 is mainly for streaming. This is not a problem 90% of the time, but if you do have internet issues, or like me, you live down under, 
This could render the backbone almost completely useless at times. So make sure to check that your device can actually comfortably stream games before flashing the cache. The Backbone 1 PlayStation Edition is a good handheld alternative if you don't want to pay an exorbitant price for a fully fledged handheld console or PC. If you find yourself constantly out and about and away from your devices, but still want to enjoy a chill gaming session, then the Backbone 1 is definitely worth it. Due to its lightweight nature and compact size, it's easy to carry around with you pretty much anywhere. You can even get a case for your Backbone as well, so it will always be protected when it's in your bag or pocket. There are links to the Backbone and case in the description if you want more information.